Hey yogis, uh, let's talk flying pigeon. Uh, Eka pada galavasana. It's actually one Eka pada foot. It's a one footed uh, pigeon pose. And um, this pose really requires a little bit of flexibility, right? So if uh, you have a pigeon where um, your foot is really close into your hips, right? Because you can't bring that foot um, without excruciating pain <laughs> into a more parallel position, then this pose is going to be hard, okay? So that's a great place for you to work. Um, for sure, the figure four position um, is a great when you're in a whoop, whoop, flexing. So right now I'm balancing that right leg, not very well, but still, I've got my left foot and I'm really gonna wanna work this opening here. I'm gonna try and sit low. I gotta get to the point where I am sandwiching that front shin between my rib cage and my lower leg, okay? So you can work on this in class by using your arms as a counterbalance if you like so that you can really get into that big opening there, okay? You need a fair amount of uh, flexibility to make this pose happen. The other thing you need to do is you need to have a pretty solid crow, right? Because that is the foundation of this, of this pose, like so many arm balances. So if you don't have a solid crow yet, I have a video on that, you can go check it out. Um, and then once you have those little components, you can start to find your pose. So, the important part when you're coming into this pose, and um, I'm not gonna go over the entry, which is from headstand, right? We're just gonna go over the entry from figure four so that you can get it to begin with, right? Uh, is you would come down low into your figure four. I'm gonna bring my hands down. Now here's what's really important is this foot here. We want it as high up around that. Uh, this is my left foot around my right shoulder as I can get it, okay? And then I'm not just gonna touch it there, I have to actively press into it the whole time. So I'm gonna bring my hands down, shoulder width distance apart. I'm gonna start to bring that left foot pressing against my right arm. I'm gonna look forward, lean forward, find those fingertips. I'm still pushing that left foot into the back of my right arm as I lift it up. Yeah? Fun? All right, one more time. <laughs> One more time. So uh, as you're on this journey to your, oh, my camera just, just moved. <laughs> I'm gonna lift it up a little bit. So as you're on this journey in your, in your little Ekapada Galavasana journey, and every pose is its own fun exploration, uh, there are some steps along the way, right? So as you're coming into this pose, and I'll show you the other side now, Right? And I'm starting to find my figure four. I'm finding my figure four. I'm lowering, I'm lowering, I'm lowering, I'm lowering, sandwiching that shin. Bring my hands down. I'm gonna press. Now I've got my right foot back of my left arm. I'm gonna push my hands down into the mat. Look forward, lean forward. Maybe all I do is start to wiggle that left foot back and maybe just pick up my heel. Yay! That went pretty well, right? So then the next time I start to look forward, lean forward. Now the second, if I stop pushing my foot into my arm, I'm not gonna be able to make the space to start to lift this back leg back, right? You'll just fall right over. Um, that's the key. So just remember, as you're going through this, make sure you have a solid crow. Make sure those hips are nice and warmed up. And, uh, and then make sure that you've got that forward movement of your foot into your arm, which is what's gonna allow you the space to send that back foot back and create the, the counterbalance of the pose. So happy flying, have fun, and uh, I'll see you on the mat, I hope.